Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with the Dina Wakely Collage Collective to create a interactive art journal page. So I'm starting off with my Dina Wakely journal. I'm starting off on a cotton rag and um, canvas, forgot the word for a minute, page um, in my um, journal. So you can see I'm putting some um, scrap paper behind just to protect it as I'm scraping over my gesso. The reason I'm gessoing the surface is because I know I want to do some techniques with acrylic paint on this and this gives a great base to what I'm doing but also because it is two different substrates I want it to look similar. Um, so by having the gesso on both pages that sort of um, helps that flow of the page even though they're going to have different surfaces to work on but the gesso certainly helps make it more even. Now you'll find, um, even though I've applied it really, really thinly, that the obviously cotton rag paper is going to dry a lot quicker than the canvas. The canvas does take a while to dry because obviously it goes into the, the fabric um, and it stays a little bit damp for a little bit longer. Um, but it works exactly the same. So I've just hit it with a heat gun um, and let it go. So I'm starting off with some fuchsia paint and you saw I got that really, really watery. Um, because I want it to move and drip down my page. I want to see this really drippy page happening. The colours I've chosen, I've chosen um, particularly because I want them to match with a page from the Collage Collective, which you'll see shortly. Now, the Collage Collective is a book full of collage images and artwork from Dina Wakely that you can cut apart and um, use in your own artwork. The thing I particularly love about the book is for doing something like this. Now, obviously Dina Wakely um, has made all of those um, pages and she's used her own art, um, art products to do that. It's, that means you can match up the colours um, with the printed artwork that she's got. And that's what I'm doing on this page. So I'm using the colors that I know that she's used on the artwork I'm going to choose as my focal image on this page. And I'm trying to replicate kind of the background she had. She had this really abstracty background um, using these colors. So it's um, fuchsia, marine, and evergreen, which is a green color. They're not colors I would ever put together usually. Um, I do love fuchsia and um, the marine. I'm not a green girl, I have to say, so that was uh, pushing me outside my comfort zone somewhat, using the green on the page. But again, that's a really good benefit of having that collage collective because you can use um, the inspiration and see those colours being used in some artwork and work out some ways to use them in your own way or style. So just in my paintbrush I've put some extra marks in the background um, just to make it interesting. So this is the page that I'm using. It's a really, really large face. Now in the Collage Collective you get two paperweights. You get um, a paperweight one and you get a cardboard weight which I think is about 180 GSM. So um, I'm using the cardboard weight um, page from this because I want this to be an interactive flap. I want the um, face to um, open out so that um, I can write underneath it. Oh, that was the idea originally. You can see I've now gone back where I've got the page there to see some of the colours that I may have missed. So I missed sort of having that lime green colour and as usual if you've been following my channel for a while I've put lots and lots of paint on my page and I have not left very much white space. So I'm getting my scraper out again and scraping some white over the back again just to add some white back in. <clears throat> so once I've finished I'm just drying it off. Now this looks like a bit of a mess at the moment and that's okay because most times when you start out doing backgrounds they do look like a bit of a mess. Uh, it's up to you to sort of tie it together in the end. So I'm using some of the washi tape, um, Dina Wakely's washi tape, which again is something new, um, which I don't tend to do in my artwork. And it was directly because I was using this collage collective that I used the washi tape on my page. I, I don't tend to actually use it in my artwork very much. So as you can see, I'm laying down the image and where the washi tape's in the background, I'm sort of um, 
finishing it off across my page. So it ties in, it makes sense. Now I'm using some black ink and just putting some splatters across the page. I like using my fan brush to do this because you get this really interesting effect of large and small splatters. I have got different splatter brushes and stuff, but I always go back to using my fan brush. I've, I just find I've got a little bit more control using a fan brush to do these sorts of things. So I'm just going in with, again, my heat gun to heat set that. It's an acrylic ink, so once it dries, it is permanent. So it's not like the Dilutions um, ink. And when that dries, it can be water activated again. And I wasn't sure if I was going to go and put any sort of water over the top again. So now I'm just going in and um, cleaning up my edges with a pair of scissors and doing some scribbly writing across the page just to add some interest and again that's where that washi comes in really handy because you've got these instant lines that you can use on your page. Now at this stage while I knew I wanted to use my flap to write behind and do some hidden journaling I still didn't really have a plan of what I was going to do on this page so I was just really playing around. This is one of my favourite stencils from Dina Wakely. All the products I've used in here I think are Dina Wakely products. And I, it's, it's called What We Do. And for this page, because I knew I wanted to focus it on my journaling or hidden journaling, I just wanted to write spill and write on it. So I'm using barely any paint. I'm using the fuchsia again to sort of tie it into the background. And with my sponge, you can see I'm sort of just using it up until I've got barely any on my sponge and I'm just getting this really faint repeat over the background. And I've gone sort of spill and write and spill and write and then I've just started doing the spill all over the page. And that's what I love about art journaling because it is, it's like spilling your guts. I just, particularly when I'm doing journaling like I'm going to do in the, the um, last page of this, <clears throat> I just write. And it is, it is just spilling my guts. So you can see here I've got my flap that I'm about to put in. And again, I'm using some of the Dina Wakely Washi. And you can see here that the colours again match. So this is one of, her, I think, of her newer role with her beautiful script writing. And it's got that gorgeous fuchsia colour, which is, I think, my favourite paint out of all of her range. I just use the fuchsia so much. So just by using the washi and putting a little bit of a hinge there, I've set it in from the edge slightly so I've got a bit of a hinge on my page and then I've put the washi on the back just to make sure it's really secure. So as I was doing that, I decided that I wanted to actually have a go at drawing a face myself. So I'm using the Stabilo Oil Pencil and I'm mapping out, you can sort of see me mapping out where the eyes and nose and mouth should be. And I'm using the page, oh, the face above as a model. The reason I wanted to do this is um, I just wanted to practice having a go drawing a face. And it was a really great opportunity to do this because it pushed me outside my comfort zone. I had a model there that I could use and flip back and forward, which was really good because I wasn't directly copying. I had to turn it back and draw it myself and then go back and look at the reference. Um, but also, if I wasn't happy with it, um, it was underneath my page anyway, so it was only me who was really going to see it. No one else was going to see it. So it was a really good way to be really brave for my drawing and practice my drawing. And I was really happy with how it turned out. And it was very loose, which is one of the things I really love about Dina Wakely's style. Um, she's got those beautiful scribbles um, in her work, so it was a great way to practice that. Um, I really liked having the face there too because it sort of made sense of that flap, uh, what was on it on the other side. You sort of still had that image on the page as well. So as you can see from the Collage co Collective piece, they are double-sided sheets and you've got artwork on both sides. So again, for hidden journaling, that's really perfect because um, while I'm journaling and it's, I can't even remember what I've written on it at this stage, um, it's not easily read, read, readable, um, even to me, and I like that. So it ends up, the writing ends up being like texture in the background, which I love, and just adds to the page. So that's it really. It's a really simple page. It's directly using the, the Collage Collective as inspiration for um, creating that piece of artwork. 
but it was so much fun and it's a great way to hide your journaling on your page. So I hope you give it a go. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.